So today's been, um, luckily it's been a day off for me. Um, and it's so weird because it's like, I guess I always tell people I have two settings, like 100% or zero. And usually I like run to a hundred, like, you know, and then I crash. Um, it always seems like my, my crash catches up with me, you know, the day is off. Um, and I get these nail headaches, which I talked about in my MRI video. Um, and it's, it feels like there's a nail in my head. And I've pretty much had a nail headache, like, like since I woke up this morning. And it's literally like someone, like, took a nail, like, right here in my head. And just, like, it's, it's there. And they just keep, like, twisting it slowly. Um, it's just, like, this horrible aching pain. And usually, really, the only thing that makes it away is if I, like, sleep. So I kept trying to sleep today. You know, even though I was tired, just trying to, like, sleep it away. And, um, it wouldn't go away. And, uh, just talking about, like, how hallucinations will, like, then kind of play off stuff that I'm having. And it's just, like, it literally, like, I, if, in my head, I'm, like, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, you know, I, God, it's just, like, you know, like, right here. And it's like a nail. Like, I can feel it, like, you know, going behind my, like, eye through my head. You know, I can feel this nail. And then I start thinking, I've got to get the nail out of my head. i got to find a hammer. And, um, that's kind of how I have to be careful with my delusional thinking. Um, because the pain's real, and then I start to, the hallucinations start playing off of the pain to where it's like an actual nail in my head, and then I start thinking I have to go find a hammer to pull the nail out of my head. And then I, I start thinking, you know, where can I get a hammer at? Um, because I was driving at the time, maybe I can swing by Lowe's and get the hammer to get the nail out of my head. And I was like, yeah, and I have to like, be like, no, no, Rachel, stop. There's not a nail in your head. You don't need a hammer. You're just having a headache. Um, but I thought I would share that with you because um, it's kind of like an easy way to see how like schizophrenia and I guess other mental disorders like that like play off the real world. And that's why, you know, your real world and like your, your delusions, like they mix, they mix together. I always tell people, you know, when, when you, you have a loved one who has schizophrenia and they're like going delusional or hallucinating or something like there's something that caused that there's like a root somewhere in, in the physical world somewhere something set them off for me it's like my headaches something set it off into that chain of events the pain feels like a nail there must be a nail inside my head I need a hammer and then I'm gonna go pull the nail out you know and it's kind of like that for for most of my hallucinations something the root somewhere is real um, so yeah, just thought I'd share that just because I thought it was a kind of easy concept to grasp. Um, and one of the stupidest things I always hear is people will be like, well, if you know you're crazy, you're not crazy. I've always thought that was the stupidest thing ever. It's like, no, you, it's, it's like having a cold. You know, you have the cold, like acknowledging the cold doesn't make it go away. Um. And anyone with mental disorders, you just kind of have to be like that. You have to learn to, like, recognize when your thought patterns are off. Um, you gotta, you, the biggest person who takes care of you needs to be yourself. You know, I have to be like, Rachel, no. <laughs> you don't need a hammer. No. Okay, you need to just get home, lay down again. So that's all. I'm Rachel Starr. Um.